Hey, what's going on guys? Monkey Moo here and welcome to FNAF World Revisited. And man, let me tell you, this game is just a one big nostalgia trip. If you're a fan of FNAF, you've most likely played this game, hated it, forgotten about it, and just completely just, you know, erased it from your memory. But now, we're going to be revisiting it in 2024. So right here, we're just grinding out the game, getting XP, getting our characters enough so that we can find other characters. See, if you don't know how this game works, it's like an RPG turn-based Pokemon game where you walk around the world and you fight enemies by encountering them through just walking around and, ooh, a new challenger, Watermelon Chica. I'll just let the gameplay speak for itself. With half our characters dead, this is what I meant about us grinding before we get to encounter any of the other animatronics in this game. Phantom Chica is not the strongest in this game, but let me tell you, I struggled. And this being my first ever encounter with another animatronic, well, this is how it ended. And with Watermelon Chica destroying us, we are going right back to the grind set. And wow, if I wasn't speeding this up, I'll tell you something. This took about two to three hours just to get a few characters. To be real, just a few characters. I uh, started looking around, wanting to fish, you know, looking at the armor, buying this bug right here that actually gave me a lot of damage you see right there i one tapped those guys out the bat so i knew that i was ready to start going on into the next area but then we got jj Luckily, this time around, we were able to secure the victory and adding a new party member to our party. Now, it's about time that we talk to Fredbear. In FNAF World, when you talked to Golden Freddy, Fredbear, and waited at the end of every conversation, you would get this altered text.
after getting oh, his auto attacks, Golden Freddy reminds you that you need to find the clock. So, there was only other one other person we could have talked to right now. I just wanted to basically set off our adventure. I'm talking to Golden Freddy, we also get to talk to who I presume to be Old Man Consequences before he died. We're honestly just going to skip this because this has really no relevance right now. Later on, he'll explain more and we get to see a nice little teaser to this location. A new challenger has appeared. Watermelon Freddy. And with us securing Watermelon Freddy, it's time for us to enter the glitch world for the very first time. Say what you want about this game, this right here was honestly one of the best parts. After talking to Golden Freddy for like the second time, he gives us another clue towards finding the clocks and how this world is an illusion and a lie. With getting the second area unlocked, it's the same thing. Grind, grind, grind until you find new party members and get to fight the bosses. At this point, I really wanted to double check where every avenue of the underworld glitch world would take me and it was pretty much the same location. Now here is where I really, really was going to go insane. This map here is one of the most just baffling. I can't even understand this map to be honest, but I'm trying my best here to understand it. And it's crazy. I'm going to be real. Scott, you did some work here. But this is my first time within the cave system. We're just going to... Skip this battle because it's pretty mediocre. And with that, a new challenger appeared. Wall of Men and Foxy. From Wallaman and Foxy on our team, we are going to continue within the cave system and hopefully trying to find a gold item 
that will help us in our endeavor. Oh, our first boss fight. I saw. Pretty easy, pretty easy, I say. You get to uh, fight this guy and a couple of other variants of him and the other one pretty much all the time. So this is mediocre. With me defeating the big boss in the first and second world, it was about time that we had within the third world, the snow biome. And honestly, this is one of my favorite biomes right here. The snow biome is top tier. Especially with the music. You cannot miss with the music. Man, balloon boy. Honestly, he was pretty easy to take down once we had JJ and a couple more levels on our belt. And with Balloon Boy secured, it was time for us to get our first clock and talk to Fredbear once again. Honestly, I don't know if I did this clock right. I don't know if it mattered if I was supposed to go two, then one, and whatever, but ooh, we did it. Yay. First clock picked up, maybe? Talking for Fredbear for the third time, he tells us to play along as the Puppet Master is amused by our actions and that we need to find more clocks. But don't enter the glitch. Our first action was to immediately contradict that and head immediately into the glitch and going two levels down so that we can find a new location with an area four. Yeah, we're cooking, Chai. We're cooking. But after unlocking area four, we speak to Spring Bonnie, Spring, Spring Bear, Spring Bear for the fourth time. And he tells us that everything attacks us at random. The one who pulls the string is always watching and he allows you to proceed. Follow the trail that we created for you. Play along. There's another one in the mines. Before you enter the glitch, find the clocks. And honestly, I messed up. I'm probably going to have to restart this game and do a complete clock ending because I probably messed up doing the clock ending on this run. <laughs> With that... Watermelon Balloon Boy comes within the fight, and we immediately destroy him because he ain't shit. So now, I wanted to explore a little bit in the cave, and see if there was anything, you know, to the truth of it. But looking at it, I genuinely didn't think I could make it to the other side. So, I knew there had to be other cave systems within the area. I totally forgot that I walked right past three. A new challenger has arrived, and it's Withered Bonnie. <laughs> this guy's pretty strong.
After fighting with her Bonnie, the marionette shows itself. And honestly, chat, I got cooked. New capture. The marionette cooked me. And well, it wasn't a fun experience. With me getting cooked by the marionette, I decided to go back and try to fight big bosses so that I can get more XP. And yeah, it worked out pretty good. After killing the eyesore inside the tunnel, we were able to collect gift boxes as a golden chip. And honestly, this is one of the best chips to get an auto gift box. It's crazy. After getting gift boxes, I was able to travel around the area, including level 4, is where I met Watermelon Chica again. But this time, I was able to slay her and add her to my party. So now guys, I'm actually going to be ending the video, and because this video is getting very long, I am going to be doing this within a two-parter, 20 minutes each. This is about a 40 minute video for now. Um, if you do want to see more FNAF World, please let me know, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.